from around the globe. It's theCUBE with digital coverage of AWS reInvent Executive Summit 2020. Sponsored by Accenture and AWS. Welcome everyone to theCUBE's coverage of the Accenture Executive Summit, part of AWS reInvent. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. Today we're welcoming back to CUBE alum. We have Kishore Durg. He is the Accenture Senior Managing Director, Cloud First Global Services Lead. Welcome back to the show, Kishore. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet again. And uh, Tristan Morrill Horset. He is the Managing Director, Accenture Cloud First North America Growth. Welcome back to you too, Tristan. Great to be back and great to see you again, Rebecca. Exactly, even in this virtual format, it is good to see your faces. Um, today we're going to be talking about MyNav and green cloud advisor capability. Kishore, I want to start with you. So MyNav is a platform that is really celebrating its first year in existence. Uh, November, 2019 is when Accenture introduced it. Uh, but it's it has new relevance in light of this global pandemic that we are all enduring and suffering through. Tell us a little bit about the MyNav platform, what it is. Sure, Rebecca, you know, we launched it in uh, November 2019 and, uh, you know, it is a cloud platform to help our clients navigate the complexity of cloud and cloud decisions and to make it faster and obviously innovate in the cloud. Uh, you know, with the increased relevance and all the, especially over the last few months with the impact of COVID crisis and the acceleration of digital transformation, you know, we are seeing the transformation or the acceleration to cloud much faster. This platform that we're talking about has enabled 140 clients globally across different industries to identify the right cloud solution, navigate the complexity, provide a cloud specific solution, simulate for our clients to meet their strategic business needs and the clients are loving it. I want to go to you now, Tristan. Tell us a little bit about how MyNav works and how it helps companies make good cloud choices. Yeah, so Rebecca, we, and we've talked about cloud is, is more than just infrastructure and that's what MyNav tries to solve for. It really looks at a variety of variables, including infrastructure, operating model, and fundamentally what clients business outcomes um, uh, our clients are, are looking for and, and identifies the optimal solution for what they need. And we designed this to accelerate. We mentioned the, the pandemic, one of the big focus now is to accelerate. And so we work through a three-step process. The first is scanning and assessing our client's infrastructure, their data landscape, their application. Second, we use our automated um, artificial intelligent engine to interact with, we have a wide variety and library of uh, collective cloud expertise. And we look to recommend what is the enterprise architecture and solution. And then third, before we go live with our clients, we look to simulate and test a scaled up model. And this simulation gives our clients a, a, a way to see what cloud is going to look like, feel like, and how it's going to transform their business before they go there. So tell us a little bit about that in real life now as uh, companies, so many of people are working remotely, having to collaborate, uh, not in real life. How is that helping them right now, Tristan? So um, the, the pandemic has put a tremendous strain on systems uh, because of the demand on those systems. And so we talk about resiliency. We also now need to collaborate across data, across people. Um, I think all of us are calling from a variety of different places where last year we were all at the big cube itself. Um, and, and cloud technologies such as Teams, Zoom that we're, we're leveraging now has fundamentally accelerated and clients are looking to onboard this for their capabilities. They're trying to accelerate their journey. They realize that now the cloud is what is going to become important for them to differentiate once we come out of the pandemic. And the ability to collaborate with their employees, their partners, and their clients through these systems is becoming a true business differentiator for our clients. Kishore, I want to talk with you now about MyNav's multiple capabilities um, and helping clients design and navigate their cloud journeys. Tell us a little bit about the green cloud ad advisor capability and its significance, particularly as so many companies are thinking more deeply and thoughtfully about sustainability. Yes, so since the launch of MyNav, we continue to enhance uh, capabilities for our clients. 
One of the significant uh, capabilities that we've enabled is the Green Cloud Advisor. Today, you know, Rebecca, a lot of the businesses are more environmentally aware and are expanding efforts to decrease power consumption uh, and obviously carbon emissions and, uh, and run a sustainable operations across every aspect of their enterprise. Uh, as a result, it is, we are seeing an increasing trend in adoption of energy efficient infrastructure in the global market. And one of the things that we did a lot of research, we found out is that there's an ability to influence our clients' carbon footprint through a better cloud solution. And that's what Green Cloud Advisor brings to us. Uh, in, in, in terms of a lot of the client conversations that you're seeing in Europe, North America and others, a lot of our clients are accelerating to a green cloud strategy to unlock greater financial, societal and environmental benefit uh, through obviously cloud-based circular operation and sustainable products and services. That is something that uh, we are enhancing my now and we are having active client discussions uh, at this point of time. So Tristan, tell us a little bit about how this capability helps clients make greener decisions. Yeah, um, well, let's start about the investments from the cloud providers in renewable and sustainable energy. Um, they have, most of the hyperscalers today, um, have been investing significantly on data centers that are run on renewable energy, some incredibly creative constructs on how, how to do that. And sustainability is therefore a key, um, a key item of importance for the hyperscalers and also for our clients who now are looking for um, sustainable energy. And it turns out this marriage is now possible. How can we marry the, the green capabilities of the cloud providers with the sustainability agenda of our clients? And so what we look in the way the MyNav works is it looks at industry benchmarks and it evaluates our current clients um, capabilities and carbon footprint leveraging their existing data centers. We then look to model from an end-to-end -end perspective, how the, their journey to the cloud, leveraging sustainable and, um, and data centers with renewable energy, we look at how their solution will look like and, and quantify carbon tax credits, um, improve a green index score, and provide quantifiable um, green cloud capabilities and measurable outcomes to our clients, shareholders, stakeholders, clients, and customers. Um, and our green cloud advisor sustainability solution has already been implemented at three clients. And in many cases, in two cases, has helped them reduce the carbon footprint by up to 400% through migration from their existing data center to a green cloud. Very, very important item. That is remarkable. Now, tell us a little bit about the kinds of clients. Is this is this more interesting to clients in Europe? Would you say that it's catching on in the United States? Where, where What is the breakdown that you're seeing right now? Uh, sustainability is becoming such a global agenda. And we're seeing our clients um, uh, tie this and, and put this at board level um, uh, agenda and requirements across the globe. Um, Europe has specific constraints around data sovereignty, right? Where they need their data in country. But from a green and sustainability agenda, we see clients across all our markets, North America, Europe, and our growth markets adopt this. And we have seen case studies in all three markets. Kishore, I want to bring you back into the conversation. Talk a little bit about how MyNav ties into Accenture's Cloud First strategy. Your Accenture CEO, Julie Sweet, um, has talked about post-COVID leadership requiring every business to become a cloud first business. Uh, tell us a little bit about how this ethos is in Accenture and how you're sort of looking outward with it too. So Rebecca, MyNav is the launch pad uh, to a cloud first transformation for our clients. Uh, Accenture CEO Julie Sweet, uh, you know, shared that Accenture Cloud First and our substantial investment demonstrate our commitment and is delivering greater value for our clients when they need it the most. And with the digital transformation requiring cloud at scale, you know, we are seeing that in the post-COVID leadership, it requires that every business should become a cloud business. And MyNav helps them get there by evaluating the cloud landscape navigating the complexity, modeling, architecting, and simulating an optimal cloud solution for our client. And as Tristan was sharing, a greener cloud. So Tristan, talk a little bit more about some of the real life use cases in terms of what are we, what are clients seeing? What are the results that they're having? 
Yes, thank you, Rebecca. I would say two key things, right, around MindNav. The first is the iterative process. Clients don't want to wait um, until they get started. They want to get started and see what their journey is going to look like. And the second is fundamental acceleration. The pandemic, as we talked about, has accelerated the need to move to cloud very quickly, and MindNav is there to do that. So how do we do that? First is generating the business cases. Clients need to know in many cases that they have a business case. And by business case, we talk about the financial benefits as well as the business outcomes, the um, green, green cloud impact, sustainability impacts. With MyNav, we can build initial recommendations using a basic understanding of their environment and benchmarks in weeks versus months with indicative value savings in the millions of dollars of ranges. So for example, uh, very recently, we worked with a global oil and gas company, and in only two weeks, we were able to provide an indicative savings worth $27 million over five years. This enabled the client to get started, knowing that there is a business case benefit, and then iterate on it. And this iteration is, I would say, the, the second point that is particularly important with MyNAP that we've seen impact the clients, which is, um, any journey starts with an understanding of what is the application landscape and what are we trying to do with those. These initial assessments that used to take six to eight weeks are now taking anywhere from two to four weeks. So we're seeing a 40 to 50% reduction in the initial assessment, which gets clients started in their journey. And then finally, we've had discussions with all of the hyperscalers to help partner with Accenture and leverage MindApp to prepare their detailed business case module as they're going to clients and as they're accelerating the client's journey. So real results, real acceleration in is there a journey? Do I have a business case? And furthermore, accelerating the journey once we are by giving the ability to work an iterative approach. I mean, it sounds as though that the company, the clients and, and employees are sort of saying, this is an amazing time savings. Look at what I can do here in, in so much, in a condensed amount of time. But in terms of getting everyone on board, one of the things we talked about last time we met uh, Tristan was just how much, how the, one of the obstacles is getting people to sign on and the new technologies and new platforms. Those are often the obstacles and struggles that companies face. Have you found that at all? Or what is sort of the feedback that you're getting from employees? Yeah, sorry, Rebecca. Yes, we clearly, there are always obstacles to a cloud journey. If there weren't obstacles, all our clients would be uh, already fully in the cloud. What Manai gives the ability is to navigate through those, to start quickly. And then as we identify obstacles, we can simulate what things are going to look like. We can continue with certain parts of the journey while we deal with that obstacle. And it's a fundamental accelerator. Whereas in the past, one obstacle would prevent a client from starting. We can now start, address the obstacles one at a time while continuing and accelerating the client's journey. That is the fundamental difference. Uh, Kishore, I want to give you the final word here. Tell us a little bit about what is next for Accenture MyNav and what we'll be discussing next year at the Accenture Executive Summit. So Rebecca, we are continuously evolving with our client needs and reinventing, reinventing for the future. For MyNAS, uh, Green Cloud Advisor, our plan is to help uh, clients reduce carbon footprint and again migrate to a greener cloud. Uh, and additionally, we're looking at uh, you know uh, two capabilities, uh, which include Sovereign Cloud Advisor, uh, with clients, especially in, in Europe and others are under pressure to meet uh, stringent data norms that Tristan was talking about and the sovereign cloud advisor helps organization to create an architecture, cloud architecture that complies with the green, uh, I would say the data sovereignty norms that is out there. The other element is around data to cloud. We are seeing massive migration uh, for, for a lot of the data to cloud. And there's a lot of migration hurdles that come within that. Uh, we have expanded MyNAP to support assessment capabilities uh, for uh, assessing applications, infrastructure, but also covering the entire uh, you know, estate, including data and, and the code level to determine the right cloud solution. So we are, we are pushing the boundaries on what MyNAV can do. With MyNAV, we have created the ability to take the guesswork out of cloud, navigate the complexity. We are lowering risk, cost, and uh, we are you know, achieving client strategic business objectives while building a sustainable earth with green cloud. 
any platform that can take some of the guesswork out of the future, I'm, I'm on board with. Thank you so much, Tristan and Kishore. This has been a great conversation. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's coverage of the Accenture Executive Summit. I'm Rebecca Knight.